Uh, Market Watchers John Layfield here. I'm Matt Cheslock and Fox Business Network's Jerry Willis. Jerry, that is the prevailing view that maybe this is an excuse, you know, to take some profits and then maybe get back in. Mm -hmm. And that tug of war is what characterize a lot of the trading this morning. What do you think of that? And and that's what makes a market, right? You know, people get in, they get out. I think people had been overextended. Maybe they had, had put everything in their portfolio into stocks, or maybe they had just fully allocated, and now they're stepping back. And why? Not just because of what's going on in the market, but also because of what's going on in the economy. Inflation could be going up here. We've seen the yield on the 10-year Treasury pop. Uh, wage growth strong. Uh, that jobs report from Friday really good. And we're seeing now that earnings expectations for the S&P 500 companies now at 18 percent growth. That's what really should be moving the markets here. And in that kind of world, that's different from where we've been before, right? In that kind of world, well, maybe what you want to do is change your allocation, change the kinds of stocks you're in and move your money around. And we're seeing a lot of that right now. You know, um, John Lightfield, when you saw what was going on uh, overnight in Asian markets and in the futures activity, which uh, almost time inexplicably to the start of the Super Bowl when we first got the futures read. They were down over 100 points. Uh, you'd expect that on the Monday after sell off on Friday. I guess that happens 90% of the time. Where it differs is by the end of the day. In other words, do we recoup the losses and then stabilize? What do you think? Uh, look, I, I agree with Jerry. I, th I think this is an excuse for a sell-off. I think the market was getting a little bit jittery. People were scared that there was nothing bad on the horizon, and that they deemed that to be bad themselves. I'm not sure I understand that rationale, but that's what the markets were thinking. Uh, we're seeing uh, inflation creep into the market. You know, China has exported deflation for many years. They're starting to export inflation. It's a sign of growth, but it's also uh, something that's worrisome for the markets, and I think that's what the markets are worrying about. I think the markets, the, the sell-off uh, being mitigated today, has markets are trying to find fair value, and I think this is really good for the markets that they're stabilizing here. All right, you know, uh, you can never gauge these things or how long they last, Matt, but I know one thing that's been undeniable, and that is the backup in interest rates. Nothing like I can remember as a kid or just first married when, when the rate we're looking at a 10 year note was what darn near what my wife and I pay today for our mortgage. That was then. I'm exaggerating. Make the point your perspective is everything. Where do you see rates going, and how much of a of a drag could they be on stocks if a lot of folks decide, you know what, this is where I want to park my money, not stocks. Well, you know, I mean, it's been a case where stocks have been placed to park your money, just as you mentioned. But if these rates continue to go, this, this should have been forecast. We've had easy money for nine years. So if you haven't gotten your uh, mortgage ready or if you're a uh, company, if you haven't put your finances in order, then you could be in deep trouble in this move. Uh, you saw a lot of these huge companies, Apple in particular, you know, they did a good job raising money along the way here. You know, it's cheap money. So why not do it? So uh, I think that's what's getting people off guard here. Uh, this move up was just been so f well forecast that it shouldn't be a su surprise to the market. So right now, it's definitely a convenient time for them to sell off. Uh, this jobs number gave them good reason. Um, but that's historically a good jobs number, right? Uh, January, it's after the holiday season. Can that continue? We haven't been able to justify any inflation, uh, at least the Fed hasn't, going forward. So yeah. these are all these could all be short-term things that could be rectified as we go out to the end of the month and get the numbers then. Yeah, it's very, very hard to gauge. Uh, you're looking at the president's uh, Marine One getting ready uh, soon to leave joint base. Andrews, the president will be off to the Cincinnati area. He's visiting a company, Jerry Willis, called Blue Ash at Sheffer Corporation. I guess it's a cylinder supplier, uh, that sort of stuff. A big manufacturer. It's handing out bonuses to all of its workers, and one of those that uh, is expected to benefit from the president's plan, something he'll be touting. I don't know if he'll be touting as much the markets of late, but what do you think? Well, I got to tell you, I've uh, spent many years living in that area, Blue Ash, uh, southwestern Ohio. Uh, and I got to tell you, there's a lot of blue collar uh, companies there, and some of them met very small that will be benefiting from this tax reform because, in, you know, tax rates are coming down. And definitely, I, I think what's so interesting now is that you're really starting to see baked into some of these numbers higher expectations for earnings, higher expectations for growth. On Friday, we found out that the Atlantic Atlanta Fed is saying GDP growth of 5.4 percent. Amazingly, these numbers just keep getting bigger. And for so many traders in the market, they really haven't seen that. It's been with one, two percent for so long. This is a new world for those folks. And yeah. you can see their jitters right here as we see this Dow now at 215 points down. You know, John Layfield, we often talk about the president, how much he has talked 
about the markets and their run-up, and it has been an incredible run-up, certainly since his election uh, from his inauguration. But now they're going down. I'm not smart enough to know how long they'll go down, but he, uh, he, he has not talked much about that. A White House official did tell CNBC earlier today that it is concerned about any, any market uh, loss going on, the, one, the likes of which we're seeing right now. But that's been about the extent of it. What do you think he does now? I think unless the market turns into bear market territory, he's still going to tout a 30 percent gain in the markets. It's the problem that he has, and a lot of people have warned uh, the president about that. You hang your hat on the economy and the market, especially the market. Uh, you own it when it goes up. You unfortunately own it when it goes down as well, any, as any president who's sitting in, in the Oval Office has done. The, what Jerry was talking about earnings expectations is spot on. He had 80 percent of companies exceeded uh, earnings expectations uh, this past quarter. Uh, that's the high since uh, 2008. And so we're going forward, we have a lot of expectations built in this market. They're starting to get higher and higher. I'm not sure the market knows where fair value is because I don't think they fully uh, digested how much these tax cuts are going to help. The Fed was behind the curve for so long. They should have raised rates earlier. They now feel comfortable to raise them. That's bad for the market, but it shows a strength in the economy, which is overall is good for the, for the uh, country.